There are two iconic buildings here at Mabufuli Bus Terminal. The first one is this one. Kiku, Kiku, Chamabasi, Chamabufuli, Mabufuli Bus Terminal. So this is more like a, an administrative building where there is different offices, you know, there is police, migration, but also there is a clinic and uh, there are several terminal offices. There are some offices and uh, shops. And the second building, this one, uh, this is more like a passenger's building where you can get a place to wait for your bus. But also, this is where there is this bus, uh, bus offices where you can purchase your ticket. So, you shall enter in this building to inquire more about going to Southern Africa, uh, Malawi, Zambia, up to South Africa. Yeah, so inside the building and uh, this is the first floor of the passengers building and also there are some waiting areas there areas which go to the second floor of this terminal building where there are offices of bus agents to inquire more about traveling to uh, southern Africa so this is what you will see when you get to this floor so this is a place where you have to come to book your ticket Falcon Airbus um, so Makahama Kampala uh, Falcon also goes to Zimbabwe and uh, uh, Zambia Habari dada Naulizia mabasi ya kuenda Zambia, Malawi now, Lizia Mabasi, I'm going to Zambia, Malawi. Falcon? I'm going to Safiri, but I'm going to go to the Shingapi, and I'm going to go to the Safiri. But I'm going to go to Malawi. Lilongo? Ah, I'm going to go to Lilongo. Lucky and Shirin. And Zambia? Yeah, I'm seeing. So, friends. Um, Falcon is one of the buses that does a direct route from Dar es Salaam to either Osaka, Zambia or Lilongwe, Malawi. So you come here and you purchase your ticket from the office itself. So the other bus is SR Classic. SR Classic coach. They are also going to you can see here, Dana Konde, Dabukoba, Ngara, Kahama. Yeah, so if you want to go to Lilongwe, Tunduma, Lusaka, Harale, Bulawayo, Lilongwe, Kisangani, Goma. So SCR Classic is the bus which I may recommend you to use when you are going to uh, either Malawi or you are going to um, Zambia or Zimbabwe? Yes, yeah, Papa. Uh, Congo or Bumbash, mm. Zambia, Zimbabwe, mm. uh, Malawi. Na tumeandika parutu zetu zote hizi. Sao, sao. Uh, uku basi ndi zimbabwe. Hila ah. uje tu katika hali angawe kukujiangalia. Ebu tuangalia, tuanze kwanza biei. Uh, uh, mimi na watu wangu wataka wajue sana sana wengi wanaenda South Africa. Leo. Lakini wataka, wataka ujua basi la moja kwa moja kutoka Dar es Salaam. Mm kwenda Lilongwe Malawi ni shingapi na utaratibu uko vipi basi yetu kutoka Dar es Salaam tu Lilongwe tunachukua 140 140 140 Dar es tu Zimbabwe 190 mm. 190 yeah, paka na 80 aha Dar es tu Kampala 
laki na arubaini Aha. Ya sama lusaka, mm. laki na arubaini Aha. Yeah. Sasa kuna watu, sasa juwe unashauli vipi Kwa sababu kuna watu wanaenda kwenye makampuni ya mabasi kama nini Lakini ya mabasi ya yaendi lusaka Sa. Ya nachukua na ulizao, wanafilisha tunduma, wanafaulisha, wengine wana Kuna toa hela nyingi unaoshauri vipi au abiria wa namna hiyo? Eh abiria hao tunawashauri kwanza moja wawe makini mm. wanapofika zao hapa Magufuli mm. kwa sababu akutana na ofisi kama anaambiwa kwamba tunakukatia tiketi angalia ile ofisi imeandikwaje na ruti zake zimeandikwaje. Unakuwa na basi zingine zimeandikwa tu lakini basi hazifiki mm. nchi za nje zinaishia boda ama na kufaulisha kwenye gari za boda. Kwa hiyo tunapata tahadhari kampuni peke yake ambayo inayokwenda nje ni Sierra Classic peke yake. Me about going to South Africa, going to Malawi, going to uh, Zambia. I recommend you to use a Sierra Classic. This is the only bus that goes directly to Lusaka, directly to Lilongwe, Malawi. But if you go to other places, they can tell you that we are going there, but they are not going, actually they are not going there. They will get you at the border, and then at the border they find another contact to, to find another bus from the border to Lilongwe or to Lusaka, and you might pay a lot of money. So please visit this place, and uh, I think they are very good people, they will help you. Bansi ya mnanoma blaza? Watu watapu. Kwa watu kama wako mbali watataka wapigie simu mawasiliano wenu wakoje? Mawasiliano wetu ya po hizi. Sifuli saba moja tatu. Sifuli saba moja tatu. Salasina mbili. Salasina mbili. Arubana tatu. Arubana tatu. Sita nane. Sita nane. Sifuli saba. Sifuli saba amsini. Sifuli saba amsini. Sifuli tatu. Sifuli tatu. Arubana tatu. Arubana tatu. Sina nane. Habana. This is Al Said, the bus which I'll be using from the Islam. There is no regular direct buses from the Islam Tanzania to Johannesburg, South Africa, as per today, April 2024. Uh, there is one by the name Mkombe Luxury, which started doing this route, but for the research I did, it is not reliable. It might make the journey after two to three months depending on the availability of passengers and the least entry they have been involved into frequent accidents and they have stopped the operation for the moment <laughs> So, the best way to travel uh, to South Africa by road from Dar es Salaam is to make your way to Lilongwe, Malawi, Lusaka, Zambia, or Harare, Zimbabwe, where you will get regular direct buses to Johannesburg, South Africa. And SR Classic Bus is the only bus company that does daily routes to Lilongwe, Lusaka, and Harare as per now, February 2024. And the affair is as elaborated by themselves earlier in this video. In short, from as little as uh, $160, transport only, you can make it to Johannesburg, South Africa from Dar es Salaam. So, wale watu wangu, mnaoni uliza mdau, na uli shingapi kuenda Johannesburg, japukua na kuwa nimeleze kwenye video, lakini kiufupi tu ni kwamba, ukiwa na shiringi lakine, na uli tu, unawazo kafika Johannesburg, lakini njiani, kuna vikwazo vingi, kama tutakaviwana kwenye video hii, kufuka boda ndugu zanguni, si mchezo, kuna changamoto sana, kwa hiyo, Ukiwa na shilingi la kine, lakini akikisho kamba una pesa nyingine Ambayo itaweza kukithi uh, maitaji ya garama mbali mbali Ambazo zika jitokeza hapo boda na mambo mingine kama ayo Lakini nauli kama nauli, lakine unatoboa Johannesburg Yes, 
wadau just like that our adventure to Cape Town South Africa is officially begun and uh, we're expecting to travel more than 5,000 kilometers of road trip uh, from Tanzania to South Africa so I'll be passing through uh, five countries Tanzania Malawi Mozambique uh, Zimbabwe and finally uh, South Africa and as I said earlier I'm not using a direct bus from Dar es Salaam uh, to South Africa but uh, rather I'm just traveling at my own pace so uh, uh, today I'm traveling uh, 500 kilometers from Dar es Salaam to Iringa town so I will sleep at Iringa town and then the next day tomorrow I will travel from uh, Iringa to Kasumuru, the border town between Malawi and Tanzania. And the next day, from Kasumuru to Mzuzu. And finally, uh, Lilongwe, Malawi. And from Malawi, we are going to take a direct bus from Malawi to Johannesburg. So, stick around, your friends. Be patient till the end of this video. I'm going to give you all the details you need to know. Border crossing formalities and its challenges. You know, these African borders especially in Mozambique. <laughs> well, I mean, the Mozambique officials are so corrupt, so I don't know what to expect, but just be here, we are going to find out. Welcome to the coast region. So we are officially done with the Dar es Salaam region. Now we are in coast region. Coast is Pwani, so we are in Pwani. Uh, in Kiswahili, we say Pwani, and this is Kibaha. Uh, this is Kibaha, and by now, this is the end of this super highway. This is the end of this super highway, and uh, Kibaha is the headquarter of Pwani uh, region which is made of districts such as uh, Ibaha, Bagamoyo, Chalinze, uh, Mkuranga, and uh, Isarawe. So it's a strategic uh, region because it surrounds Dar es Salaam and uh, here is where many industries in Tanzania are located but for those my friends who want to invest in Tanzania this is the region in which you have to invest because uh, the land is still there it's, you know Dar es Salaam is, uh, is full now you cannot get enough land uh, to invest in Dar es Salaam but any cost you can do it especially in Mkuranga I know <laughs> my two friends from USA they just saw my videos and they are here now investing uh, in Kuranga. They have poultry farms, so I encourage others. You, know, you want to invest? This is the region where you can still get plenty of land for you to do your different projects. Yeah, so welcome to Kibaha bus station. And you can see Mwendokasi lanes there, BRT, Mwendokasi buses. Kibaha bus station. the main road Dar es Salaam Morogoro Highway Cecilia, conductor of Basim. 
Mapenda mimi leo nipende kwa sisitiza muda wa kuchana kwa safari ni kwa umefunga mkanda kwa ajili ya usalama wako binafsi. Na siti zetu zote zina mikanda, mikanda inapatikana katikati ya siti na siti. Hivyo tunaomba kama kuna ambaye hajafunga mkanda, uweze kufunga mkanda kwa ajili ya usalama wako binafsi. Ipo miko miwili tunakuwa barabara, tunakuwa bana bana basi. Mwambia wewe ni ndio ndio. Mbona ni kwa hapo ndogo na bana becoming the president he was the member of parliament of Chalinze for a very long time so in Chalinze there is the roundabout of the road heading to northern regions of Tanzania uh, such as Arusha, Tanga, Kilimanjaro up to, uh, up to Mombasa and Nairobi, Kenya so that side we are going to Kilimanjaro, Arusha, Kilimanjaro this side we are going to Morogoro Stand your bus to Chalinze so this is Chalinze bus station I did the same road trip to Johannesburg, South Africa, but I passed through Zambia, Botswana, and finally Johannesburg. I went up to Maseru, Lesotho, and I explored Bluefontein, the uh, judicial capital of South Africa. This time, I will go all the way to Cape Town, but I will be in Port Elizabeth, or Kberha, as it is called nowadays, for almost one month for some official reasons. This time, I've secured a visa in advance, but as a Tanzanian and Kenyan, you don't need visa to enter South Africa if you are traveling for tourism purposes. More about this will be discussed in this video when we get at the border. So, let's go. <laughs> Town is the headquarter of Morogoro region, uh, which is made up of districts such as Mvomero, Kilosa, Ulanga, Kilombero, and Morogoro Rural and Urban. The town is located 
190 kilometers from the last land, almost. Um, according to the last national census, Morogoro region is estimated to have 2.2 million residents. <laughs> Tanzanians are free to live wherever they wish in the United Republic, but there are certain tribes that call certain regions their home. In the Morogoro region, the largest ethnic groups are Luguru, Kaguru, Pogoro, Ngindo, Angulu, Kutu, Sagara, etc. Uh, if you happen to visit Tanzania, don't skip Morogoro. Apart from hospitality of its people, you will enjoy wildlife in Selu Game Reserve and the Mikumi National Park, which we are going to pass. Um, Uruguru Mountains is ideal for hiking, so if you, you like hiking, then you can hike through Uruguru Mountains. There is also Kinoli Waterfalls and many, many others, so it's worth visiting this place. So, welcome to Morogoro. So our left side is the road heading to Morogoro town. So that's Morogoro town. And uh, this other road straight is heading to Iringa. That's where we are going. But before that, we have to enter into uh, the bus station. And uh, this road is the one that is heading to Dodoma heading to Dodoma and uh, other western regions Dumila, Gairo, Dodoma Welcome to Morogoro bus station. Yeah, so this is our stop here at Morogoro. Dada Bari. Safari una yonaje? Kwa nini alsaidi na sio basi lingine lote? Kwanza wana huduma nzuri. Ah. Ni gani ambao nimeisoea? Madereva kwa makini. Wanakea abiria wao. Na barabara unaionaje? Barabara kutoka Dar es Salaam mpaka hao. Unajisikia comfortable hapo kwa nasafiri? Eh, namshukuru Mungu. Kila kitu nikutanguliza Mungu. Na katika safari hii kuna pita kitonga ni sehemu maarufu sana hii. Watu wanasema ni sehemu ambayo ina changamoto. Wewe unajisikiaaje unapopita kitonga? Najisikia vizuri because na muamini dereva wangu. Yeah. Naamini kampuni pia. Ah. Labda unaitwa nani na unaishi wapi? Na 
There are opportunities in Morogoro. Uh, if you can invest in agriculture, I'm sure you can make a good return. The region receives enough rainfall and has values which support irrigation farming. I know some young people who have invested heavily in Morogoro um, and they are, they are making a lot of money. I will make a visit to show you how they are doing. <laughs> Hope they will give me cooperation because, you know, some uh, some people are so private and when it comes to camera recording them doing them. but i think uh, some of them will give me cooperation so i will show you i will show you how you can just uh, invest in morogoro on agriculture etc etc morogoro welcome iringa region karibu mkoa wa iringa yeah so Traps here also. Okay. Mambo VP. Oh, yeah. I'm sure one of them is going to to say, I'm going to I'm going to inside the I'm going to go to the is expanded into four lanes. This is incredible. Um, this is a high accident rate place. And many Tanzanians have been crying for the government to do something about this area. And the government has answered the cries. As you can see, the construction is going on to expand this road. Kudos to the Tanzanian government for this initiative. which is a local dialect spoken here in Iringa. Now, we are leaving this highway for a moment now and we are taking the right turn to the bus station. Especially regional headquarters should have a modern bus station. So here in Iringa, the station is located here at Igumbilo. So this is Igumbilo bus station. That is our bus. Alisaidi. Yeah, good morning from Uiringa friends. So this is the bus that will take me to Mayor from Uiringa. So I slept here yesterday. We are leaving Uiringa. So the next town here is Mafinga.
Mafinga Iringa aka the billionaire's town of Iringa. <laughs> Tree farming and the timber business has benefited the residents in this part of the country. Young people are making a lot of money in this region due to tree farming and the timber business. I visited this area two years ago and I interviewed one of uh, young people uh, who is making a lot of money. And the interview attracted some of, uh, of my subscribers who are here now investing. <laughs> Kwame from Ghana, my good friend Kwame, uh, is here now, uh, has bought some land and is investing. Mm, how are you doing, Kwame? So it's a long time. I have to come to visit you. <laughs> you have to show others, yeah? I will come to visit you. Hope you will also show others um, your farms and you can inspire them. But also, there is Kevin from Canada, of course. Kevin has been supportive uh, to me. I mean, this guy has supported this channel. Thank you very much, Kevin. So Kevin is also here. Uh, there is Mike from Kenya. These are the uh, my subscribers who I know personally that they've just come here and they bought land here. They are now investing. So I will make time to come and uh, visit them. I know <laughs> Kevin is a private person. He don't want even to be known. He don't want me to to give him shout out for uh, supporting this channel in one way or the other. But Mike. Mtakuja Mike, um, tutatakiwa tuonge, uh, tutatakiwa tufanya interview ba na wewe uliona ya mashamba kupitia interview ya ule brother So, na wewe tutatakiwa tufanya interview ili uweze kwa inspire wengine Au maze unasema aje ndugu yangu Kevin from Kenya <laughs> So Kevin, I will come and see you uh, So, I think uh, these videos will, uh, will inspire others who want to uh, to to invest but if you want to check those videos about um, mafinga timber business uh, tree farming you can check them in my channel they are there so from there you can learn one thing or the other about tree farming These trucks are waiting for their turn to continue with their journey. This section of road is a high accident rate place, so the trucks from opposite direction cannot be passing at once. So the traffic officers uh, have decided to, to make it in turn. It can be 30 minutes, trucks from one direction, they pass, and 30 minutes, the other from opposite direction. So they cannot pass at once because of uh, so as to avoid the accident. 
Welcome to Mbeya City, <laughs> one of the district of Mbeya region. Others are Mbeya Ruro, Rungwe, Ileje, and the others. Um, there are also attractions here in Mbeya, such as mountain peaks. You know, so Mbeya is, there are mountain peaks in Mbeya. Uh, exciting waterfalls, there are waterfalls here. Green lakes and the Garden of God. A meteorite, eh? we call it Kimondo in Kiswahili and many other. Uh, Mbea Urban is estimated to have more than uh, 600,000 residents, which is ideal for business. But also farming is, I mean, farming is conducted in Mbea uh, region. So uh, areas surrounding Mbea city uh, is very fertile and a lot of crops can be grown. And, uh, you know, for example, rice is popular in Mbeya, um, quality rice we eat in Tanzania is from Mbeya and there is the biggest international market here, food market here in Mbeya at Mwanjelwa. So uh, Mbeya is a, it's a good region to live and um, uh, among, among regions in Tanzania where um, the cost of living is low, Mbeya is one of them. So. If you are starting life, for example, young people starting life, then Mbeya is the best place for you. Uh, but also, you can get employment here in Mbeya. You can be employed by the government, but also some private sector. But also, you can create in, uh, employment to others. You know? So, come to Mbeya, come and enjoy Mbeya. The weather here is, you know, good. Uh, for people who are used to western weather, then Mbeya is a place for you too. Uh, to live because the weather here is cool. It's those regions that attract a um, uh, high amount of rainfall and uh, these southern highlands regions are uh, conducive to live. The weather is cool and there is no, I mean, it's not hot here uh, like Dar es Salaam and those uh, areas around the coast. And this area is very, very fertile and it receives high amount of rainfall throughout the year and as i told you bear is very arable it is very a very arable land whereby um, a lot of crops grow here without any problem and that's why in bear there are plenty of food friends we are now cruising through Rungwe district of Mbeya region towards Kasumulu uh, border on Tanzanian side and Songwe uh, on the Malawian side. Um, so this uh, journey to the border is scenic. So, I mean, the scenery along the way is amazing, as you can see. Uh, this place has mountains, uh, cool climate, perfect for working so those who are used to western kind of climate then this is your place and personally i'm very very impressed by the standard of living of people here in bear just to look at the houses in these villages here yeah. so you can see that the houses are modern residents here are able to build uh, modern housing and it's because of economy um, these people, uh, they participate in agriculture, avocado farming, uh, tea, coffee, cocoa, and bananas. Because of the weather, this soil here or this land is very fertile. And uh, yeah, residents can be able to, uh, to, to do agriculture and earn a living. And uh, of course, um, there are those regions in Tanzania where many people or oh, you know most of who its residents are more educated as compared to others 
so most of doctors you know in Tanzania most of them are from there and yeah those communities where people are exposure they've gone abroad and they are just um bringing development but also the government you know ministers and whatever so Mbeya is one of those regions that is well developed in Tanzania So friends, this is Kasumulu border. Uh, these minibuses are going to Kela. So they are just dropping passengers here at the border and they are going to Kela. So from there to Kasumulu is 7,000 Tanzanian shillings. So I have used almost 57 Tanzanian shillings from the Islam to Kasumulu border. That is 30,000 uh, 30, Tanzanian shillings from the Islam to Iringa. 20,000 Tanzanian shillings from Iringa to Mbeya and uh, yeah, 7,000 Tanzanian shillings from Mbeya to Kasumulu border so it's like 25 US dollars from Dar es Salaam to Kasumulu border so tomorrow I will be crossing the border so today I will be just looking somewhere to sleep so that tomorrow I continue with my adventure to Malawi Yeah, this is where I slept yesterday for Tian Executive Lodge. Uh, it is 20,000 Tanzanian shillings per night, uh, which is like $8. Uh, this is the decent lodge in this area. Yeah, so good morning from Kasumuru. We are going to cross the border now. Uh, this is Kasumuru town on the Tanzanian side. Kasumuru border, Kasumuru Songwe border, one border stop. So going to the border, I took a border for only 1,000 Tanzanian shillings. And make sure you exchange your money on the kiosks on the Tanzanian side. They are very honest and they offer better rate than those you meet them. Uh, just working along at the border so don't use those people and uh, today's rate is one Malawian kwacha to 1.3 Tanzanian shillings and uh, I exchanged uh, 308,000 Tanzanian shillings to 270,000 Malawian kwacha After exchanging your money, you can do border crossing in peace. Um, the Tanzanian side of the border is well developed um, by better infrastructure as compared to Malawian side. So um, this is supposed to be a one border post where both desks uh, exit, I mean from Tanzania and stamping in uh, in Malawi should be in one in one room like uh, what is being done there at in, uh, at Tunduma or at Namanga or at Busia etc etc but uh, Malawian side the construction is still going on but on the Tanzanian side uh, the infrastructure the buildings are already uh, there are just final touches here and there so I don't know what's wrong with the Malawi because as you can see there is the difference you can see the difference between uh, the infrastructure development between Tanzanian side and Malawi this side uh, and uh, that is Songwe River Songwe River uh, the river that 
separates these two countries. The river that separates these two countries. Uh, yeah. so, crossing of the bridge. The border borders there. Oh, man, look at this river, Songo River, it's flowing here, it's flowing, and on this side, look at this, Songo River. So that truck is crossing. Businesses. Mambo wewe. Kiswahili tu. Ah wewe ni Malawi mtanzania? Mimi Malawi lakini naongea kichochote. Ah unajua Kiswahili? Najua tu. Ah. Biashara vipi hapa boda? Ah biashara hapa nzuri. Wewe unaishi hapa boda? Naishi hapa boda. Upande wa Malawi. Wa Malawi. Ambapo panaitwa Songwe au? Songwe boda ndio boundary. Ah ndio boundary. Kile kijiji au ile eneo pale Malawi panaitwaje pale? Eh, <laughs> Ami boda boda. Boda boda. Ah wewe ni upande gani? Malawi au Tanzania? Tanzania. Tanzania. Ah maisha kwa vipi boda? Maana yake boda bwana mara nyingi boda zimechangamka watu wana pesa boda. Hapa songwe vipi? Ah hapa pana hela. Hapa pana hela. Pana hela boss. Aha. Pana hela sana. Aisee kwa hiyo unataka kuniambia kwamba niamie hapa bwana. Niamie hapa. Ah bwana sasa maisha vipi mtu anataka kujua labda kwa mfano upande wa Tanzania? Kasumulu pale. Nyumba nini labda mtu anataka kupanga, anataka kuja hapa boda kutafuta maisha. Unaweza kumwambiaje? So yeah, I was just chatting with the residents here uh, across the border from Tanzania and uh, they told me that there is a free movement. There is a free movement. Uh, people just from Malawi coming to Tanzania to do business people from Tanzania going to Malawi to do business and as uh, like any other border there is man here as far that uh, friend who talked uh, who spoke to me that there is a man here because there is a movement of people and the goods oh man it's rain here and uh, <laughs> the situation here Malawi Revenue Authority Songwe Customs Exercise. So we are now entering into Malawi and there is a gate here. There is a gate here. We are now entering. Uh, so we are in Malawi now. But I have not stamped my passport. So I think it's on that side. National Bank of Malawi, Songwe Service Center. So there is an ATM here. Uh, there is an ATM. So, Songwe border. Malawi Ports Authority.
Generally, uh, this border is also very easy to cross. Both on Tanzania and the Malawi side, I was stamped easily. But make sure you have a valid reason of your travels. And if you could have some supporting documents in case of intense questioning, it will be better. But overall, you won't get much problem here. Hey, what are you? Mambo VP. We are, we are in Malawi now, officially in Malawi, on our way to Lilongwe, all the way to Johannesburg, South Africa, uh, Port Elizabeth, and Cape Town. So we have crossed the border uh, between Tanzania and Malawi, Kasumuru Songwe border. And uh, I'm on the Malawian side now, looking for public transport that will take me up to Lilongwe, Malawi. So let's go. Uh, so this pro box are going to Karonga. Uh, so this is like a bus station here and this is Songwe. You can get direct buses from here, Songwe, to Mzuzu, Lilongwe, and Blantyre. But they depart during the evening, and I crossed the border in the morning. So I decided to also travel at my own pace. Mm -hmm. So I just took the minibuses, shared mini, uh, shared uh, taxis, uh, this uh, Probox, uh, uh, Noah's, and the others. Uh, these are the common uh, means of transport here, transporting people from the border to Karonga, which is the nearest town from the border, uh, which is uh, 50 kilometers away. So we are in northern Malawi now. This is Iponga. After crossing border, we will be traveling through Karonga district uh, in northern region of Malawi. The road from Songwe border to Karonga, which is like 50 kilometers away is in the decent condition and the popular means of transport is shared taxis, probox, noahs, etc. And along the way you can see the villages and uh, according to my opinion they are very good villages, uh, not different from what I saw when I was coming uh, from Tanzania and agriculture and the fishing in Lake Malawi is the common economic activities for these communities living in this district and i paid 3000 malawian kwacha which is like three dollars for this trip from songwe border to karonga town <laughs> Pussy Malawi. So we are in Malawi and we are cruising in the northern Malawi in Karonga district. Just some few kilometers from the border, the Kasumuru or Songwe border.
going down the jungle. So, <laughs> this bus is coming from the wrong way to the border. Sasa kurudi manake narudi leo hii. Eh hiyo ya mchana inarudi sasa hivi. Roundabout. Um, yeah, we are here. So, those are some uh, kind of minibuses that will take us from Karonga to Mzuzu. Uh, so, from uh, from the border to Karonga, the fare is 3,000 Marawi and Kwacha. And, uh, so, I'm with the taxi now, going to Mzuzu. Uh, so, let's go to Mzuzu. I'm sure it's not far from here. Uh, from Songwe border to Karonga, it's like 50 kilometers. The journey between Karonga and Mzuzu is so long, uh, which is almost 220 kilometers in sections of terrible roads. Man, this road has massive, massive potholes. It is a really, really very, very bad road. And I paid uh, 15,000 Malawian kwacha, which is like 15 US dollars. But the scenery along the way is just amazing. You will be able to view Lake Malawi in a close range and yeah you can test some fish as well along the road because there are vendors there are women doing some business selling fish so you can get an opportunity to buy fish and uh, taste the flavor of lake malawian fish although this is a tiresome journey uh, and you will be traveling in some old shared means of transport eh? some old highs but it is worth the experience because the hills, the valleys, the scenery is just amazing.
So this is Lake Malawi friends. There are people in Malawi. Fishing is one of their economic activities. Yeah, so this community is on the shore of Lake Nyasa. We call it Lake Nyasa in Tanzania. But here they call it Lake Malawi. And uh, that is Lake Malawi. And those are fishing boats. It's like a fishing community here on our way to Mzuzu from Karonga. market market day yeah. it's like a
How much? Southern. Climbing now, mountains, heading to Mzuzu. <laughs> the driver is telling me that climbing this is more difficult than Kitonga in the Ringa, Tanzania. He knows Kitonga and uh, he's saying this is more challenging than Kitonga. Welcome to the city of Umzuzu. Welcome to Umzuzu.
know if it's functioning. Yeah, so I'm in Mzuzu now. Yeah. On the motorbike, I want to inquire about going to uh, Johannesburg. Mzuzu city. This is the third largest uh, city after Lilongwe and Blantyre. And um, I have to take a night bus to travel to Blantyre because I have to catch uh, the bus from Blantyre to uh, Johannesburg the next morning. And I paid 38,000 Malawian kwacha, which is like uh, $38 for this trip from Mzuzu to Blantyre via the long way ah, so friends, uh, after almost six hours we are approaching the long way my life. the road is pretty good unlike the one from Karonga to Mzuzu which was very very bad but this section of road is very very smooth so this is what Malawi looks like uh, on our way to Blantyre from the long way South Africa. Oh, South Africa. Yeah, so yeah. I will catch my bus there. Yeah, from the Lewa. All right. How far is the uh, Lewa yeah, from here? From here, about um, 50 kilometers. 50 kilometers? Yeah. Okay.
friends thanks very much for following this adventure from Dar es Salaam to Blantyre Malawi I'm supposed to catch the morning bus to Johannesburg South Africa thus I went I, I want to go to Blantyre I will wait for the bus from Blantyre at Zulena don't forget to like the video subscribe if you haven't already and share the video to your loved ones don't miss another road trip from Blantai, Malawi to Johannesburg, South Africa via Tete province in Mozambique and Harare, Zimbabwe. That adventure will be marvelous. Asanteni na kwaherini toka hapa Zulena, Malawi. Yeah, Zalewa, Malawi. Captain Tours, so this is where I'm dropping. Zalewa.